All right, so I thought I'd do a real quick video on this P0442 code. That's for a small EVAP leak detected. Now, basically what that means is the evaporative emission control system, which is supposed to trap gas vapors from the tank and send them back into the engine, has a small leak somewhere in the line, not big enough to trigger a major code, but just enough for the computer to say, hey, something's not sealed up right. Now, with this one, the first thing, and I mean the very first thing, check the gas cap. Seriously, this little thing can throw that code more than anything else. So just pop it off, check the rubber seal on the cap, make sure it ain't cracked or dry or anything like that. Also make sure when you tighten it, it actually clicks. If it doesn't, then it's probably not sealing and that will set the code. If the gas cap looks good or you replace it and the code still comes back, then we move on to checking the EVAP lines. Now these are usually little plastic or rubber hoses that run from the gas tank up to the charcoal canister and then up to the purge valve and all that. What you wanna do is just start tracing them and look for cracks, loose connections, or anything that looks like it could be leaking. A lot of times these rubber elbows or connectors dry out and split just a tiny bit. And that's all it takes for a small leak. I've even seen hoses that look fine, but when you bent them, you could see a little crack open up. Now, if you can't see anything obvious, what some people do, and I've done this myself, is use a smoke tester. If you've got one, great. But if not, some shops will test it for you pretty cheap. Basically, it pushes smoke through the EVAP system and wherever there's a leak, the smoke comes out. Works like a charm. Another thing I check is the purge valve and the vent valve. If either one of those is sticking open when it shouldn't, that can cause a small leak code too. You can test the purge valve like I showed in another video. Just see if it's pulling vacuum when it shouldn't, like when the engine is cold. And that vent valve, usually back near the charcoal canister or the rear of the car, sometimes they get stuck open or clogged with dust and it lets air leak in. So once you check the gas cap, look over the hoses, maybe test the purge and vent valves, and maybe even do a smoke test if you got one. Chances are you're gonna find the issue. After you fix whatever it is, gas cap, hose, valve, whatever, go ahead and clear the code, drive it for a few days and see if it stays off. So yeah, that's basically it. Just a real quick rundown on how to fix that P0442 small EVAP leak code. It sounds like a big deal, but most of the time, it's something real simple. If this helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more Fix-It videos like this. And if you've got any questions or want to share what fixed it for you, drop it down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. All right, have a good one.